right i welcome you all on this mocks webinar on the us mle examinations and pathway for pg medicine in us there are certain uh, you know fundamentally very very important changes which have come up in this entire journey so while i will address to them i will also talk in detail about the entire procedure of the us mle exams and the match uh, everything you know any query you have you know in this entire uh, you know process so before i start uh, this uh, you know discussion i want one very important question all right what's your year of med school if you can quickly let me know which year of med school are you guys in just so that we get introduced to each other so i just come you know want to know which year of med school are you guys in uh, because the timeline and the planning uh, varies depending on the year of med school so uh, which is why so we are close to about 194 students right now and uh, you know many more of your friends are joining in that's exactly what i have been informed by my team so perfectly fine not an issue uh, it's a good mix you know we have students who are in med school as well as those who are graduate and interns so during this entire journey of discussion any questions which you have please feel free to type in and i'll be happy to answer a quick introduction i have been uh, you know associated with the process of uh, helping students with their residency and fellowship program for now uh, more than uh, 10 years so you know i have seen the journey of a student of a pg student of a consultant and of a senior physician in india for a transition and moving into a full fledged career in america so we'll be able to you know in this entire session give you this overview and perspective of <coughs> the traditional route and what are the implications of the new changes so what i will request each one of you is to type in every question which you have and we will be answering them mithul already has posted one question and mithul your answer is there very much at the right time when we discuss the ecfmg pathway your answer uh, will be uh, taken care of don't worry all right so we will answer all the questions in this entire journey so i welcome you once again on this mock usmle webinar a uh, quick introduction you know in terms of what we do at mock academy we give you end to end support you know the path to us residency is long so of course there are challenges there are queries regarding the step examinations electives how to get a lor how will i you know get a research experience how will i take care of interview so the entire hurdles of the usmle process that's what we are expertized in and of course prior to covid we used to do this similar sessions in person in medical colleges across india uh, well uh, whether i should say it's a good part or a bad part but yes now uh, post covid when things are online uh, we are meeting more and more students you know so and the best part is students from you know shimla from kerala from agartala or from bombay can attend same webinar at the same time you know so that gives us <coughs> a more flexibility and opportunity for students to understand the entire procedures and of course uh, why our students are successful because more than 10 country students you know are studying on this digital platform for global medical students what is this platform uh, we will discuss uh, you know uh, as we move ahead in this session where they are attending live lectures uh, you know have access to content of recorded content they have access to q bank so we'll be discussing that as well a quick alert uh, our student uh, jay shingala uh, from bj medical college have received a high score recently he scored a 244 on the usmle step 1 and yes as we recommend at moksh start early you know he has given his exam in his third year of med school so that is what we are recommending start early as first year and try appearing these exams in your third year of med school now very important announcements which happened in the last two months the first announcement okay was about the us congress breaking 25 years old 
freeze record they had stopped for last 25 years adding new and new residency positions okay and this is one very very important positive news which has come on december 23rd that thousand new pg seats have been added for the next year's match okay both in rural and urban areas of united states so things are moving in the right direction for international medical graduates okay and we will be talking much in detail about uh, you know the upcoming changes and the implication but this one thing i would say is a good start for you to understand <coughs> that things are on a positive note all right since the time by then administration has taken over in the united states all right now i get a lot of questions you know why imgs are so important for the american healthcare system you know why am i recommending us and why not any other country at this point of time the reality is 62% are primary care physicians the share of female imgs is on the rise so there is you know much demand i mean gender is neutral in case of us in fact uh, last year's match we had more female imgs getting match over male imgs in india at least okay about one in three imgs call sweet sunny south their practice zone so imgs uh, you know matching uh, work in texas florida then the second best is uh, northeast region which is your new york new jersey uh, then comes your midwest and finally the west region all right 22.7 percent of licensed doctors in america are international medical graduates again this is a big number are you aware i don't know how many of you are aware but indian ratio how many of you are aware how many indian doctors are there in america out of this 22.7 percent it's more than 27 percent okay so it's a large number large number okay so please understand this the importance of us number of imgs in practice has grown by nearly 28 thousand 98 percent of imgs speak two or more language which is by the demand and most recently the ama has released some very very important data which states that projected physician shortage already according to them was 139000 physicians by 2033 however covid 19 pandemic has amplified the need which is why the we saw the first result on december 23rd where they increased 1000 residency position so point is yes day by day every country globally including india is realizing physician shortage and is trying to do something you know in their own way so united states is in the forefront of adding uh, more and more residency positions in the coming years to come all right so that is one important uh, thing for you to understand now i get the usual question you know where do these imgs work so 33% of imgs work in a hospital setting uh, 31% in group practice that is what we call as polyclinics 20% work in solo or a two doctor setup while the rest work in managed care academic or unclassified settings okay like a pediatric care or a geriatric care or in universities and finally of course uh 27% of imgs are from india that's one good thing to cheer and followed by students from philippines pakistan syria nigeria china lebanon uk germany russia and ukraine okay so highest are the students from indian medical schools in america so that is something we should all be proud about why american healthcare system okay this is very very important i am assuming all of you have come to you know attend this session so all of you are already aware of uh, the fact that uh, you know you have heard about us ml at one point of time in your career so obviously the next question to you is what according to you is the tuition fee to do pg in america okay a per year tuition fee with 35 lakhs is it 50 lakhs is it 1 crore okay or is it zero all right so this is very important uh, you know for you to understand why american healthcare system at least at a pg and a fellowship level is globally recognized to be one of the best okay and uh, i do this kind of sessions okay not only in india but uh, across uh, you know asia southeast asia and 
let me tell you wherever i do in person sessions even in indian medical colleges this is the first uh, this is the second question i ask first question always is about usmle where you know 100% of students say yes we are aware of usmle but when the second question that are you aware what is the tuition fee per year tuition fee to do pg in usa when this question is posed you know unfortunately uh, not 100% percent of you are right and that is what we can see here as well even today uh, more than 33% out of more than 200 students okay are not basically aware that there is no tuition fee to do post graduation in america so this is something very important for us, all of us to understand that american pg degrees are free of cost moment you uh, you know hear about us everybody feels it is expensive no moment you want to understand what is expensive try taking admission in indian private medical college that is expensive super expensive but not us residency programs in fact in united states you get additional salary stipend of minimum three to four thousand per month okay you are on a work visa so this is something which you need to understand as a resident it's a overall development there is so much of nurturing done there are standard acgme guidelines for uh, clinical comprehension all right so the best part is whether you take admission in a private college or a government college doesn't matter there is an all-rounded learning with a support staff supervisor program director mentors other residents so as a professional that United States post graduation can be one of the best thing that can happen to you. All right. But of course, you need to work towards it. It's something which is a career decision and which is why uh, preparation is very important. All right. Now let's compare the medical PG process in India and in United States. India, the undergrad degree is termed as MBBS. In the United States, the degree is called as MD. The postgrad degree in India after MBBS is MD on the medicine side and MS on the surgical side. The super PG, you know, after doing MD is DM cardiology uh, in case of India and in US it is uh, sorry, a residency program, all right? And in case of uh, super specialization on the surgical side, those are MCH, uh, you know, in terms of super specialization. The super specializations in India which are dm and mch are called as fellowships in america okay in the united states both residency and fellowships are free of cost you don't pay any tuition fee all right and more importantly you need to understand in case of india there are multiple attempts for NEET. in case of us family there is only one attempt if you pass and your scores are locked for seven years of course if you fail there are four more attempts but if you pass only one attempt, all right? Match ratio for students. In India, when 10 students apply, one gets a PG seat. In US, the 2020 match ratio shows that if two students apply, one gets a PG seat. Choice of specialty. In India, everything is based on your need rank. In America, it is a choice before application. Your entire profile needs to be inclined to a particular specialization. You need to prove why you like a particular specialization and only and only then you can apply to that PG specialization. Okay. Tuition fee, of course, in Indian government college is 3 to 5 lakhs. Private is 1 to 3 CR. Salary stipend in India is around 50,000 per month. In US, it is 3 to 4 lakhs per month. All right, so just a basic comparison of both the countries. All right, uh, you can always type in your questions. I will answer all the questions at the right time. Okay, if I see questions relevant to the slide, I will answer. Otherwise, I will be answering at the right time. One very, very important difference between the Indian and the American system, all of you need to understand is that in the us they are more keen to know which specialization you are passionate about please this is something which you need to understand very very properly in india they are focused on your entire cv profile 
okay sorry in the united states they are focused on your entire cv profile okay and they want you to apply to a specialization which you are passionate about and how will you prove by doing things in your cv to show that yes i genuinely like this specialization in india it is completely based on your neat pg score okay my rank is so and so you let me know in your med school how what will i get okay if you so basically whatever is available you will pick it up that's not how it works one exam does not determine your entire career okay it happens in india but nothing happen in united states that if you are applying for the united states residency it is your entire profile in entirety which decides your career in india it's only one exam okay it is currently need pg and it's going to replace by the next examination all right so this is the biggest change which you need to understand and your approach needs to change accordingly you cannot utilize the fundamentals of writing and competing in indian exams to the united states medical license exam 